Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome to our guide and let's play of LEGO DC Super Villains. If you like what you see, please thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching K-Wing's Let's Plays, and we hope you enjoy the following video. Welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains, and we're here with Yay! Martian Manhunter and Clark Kent. And, uh, yes, we did forget Lois Lane, who has been stuffed in a suitcase. Poor Lois. Uh, I think she's fine. Yeah, she looks fine. She's, she's actually totally fine. trapped right in here, so... Isn't this her favorite place to be, though? Trapped inside a suitcase? Well, I mean, in the Daily Planet. Oh, in the Daily Planet. Uh, yes. I, I suppose trapped so. Trapped inside a suitcase is my favorite place to be. Is it now? So I mean, let's see how much a Lois costs after Superman changes. There we go. Help? That's why I'm nope. here. 150,000 for Lois. What? Around here somewhere. She doesn't even have any powers. Wait, is she wearing is she wearing a skirt or are those like weird like capri pants? They're capri pants. No, it's a skirt. Oh, it's a skirt. It just looks like capri pants. All right, so she was 150,000 and she has a boomerang ability. She can light up dark places because she's a cool journalist. Uh, she has selfie mode and projectile rebounds. What? That doesn't make any sense. Committed to reporting the truth as an award-winning news reporter for the Daily Planet, Lois Lane was the first journalist to interview Superman, leading to her close relationship with the Man of Steel. Courageous and determined, nothing can stop Lois when it comes to getting the latest scoop. First Whoa. comic appearance, Action Comics number one, 1938. Wow, she's an old character. Oh, yeah, because the Superman is one of the oldest DC characters ever. That's totally true. I am just surprised that there's a reporter that is committed to reporting the truth. I know, right? <laughs> oh, it was 1938. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. Martian Manhunter hanging yeah. out. So there. It. In my defense, yes, we were destroying a bunch of stuff in that room, but... We didn't actually go through and obliterate everything because we weren't trying to, I guess, is what's going on. So yep. today we're going to be hanging out in Metropolis, doing some more of the gold bricks and also going inside some more of the buildings. So there's a few buildings left. And that is, I believe this is the one puzzle we haven't been able to finish yet. I just want to double check before we move on to something more fun. Natural Museum of History? Yes. Wait, are we over in... I was like, are we in New York? Or... This is Metropolis! Okay. In New York. Metropolis, yo. Okay, we're in the Museum of History in New York. I mean, in Metropolis. Ah! Metropolis. <sighs> Sorry. This way, kids. This is not how one won't unlock the precious rock display. I need the kryptonite. It really brings out the green in my eyes. Brings out the green in your eyes? Alright. The size of those eggs! I'm gonna make a great eggs Benedict. Oh no no no. Florentine. Oh now I can't decide. So what is the point of having all these goons though? That is a glass case that can only be broken with like black canary or Batman Sonic abilities, so mm, I'm gonna go that's with. That's cool. I like, there's a T-Rex, like, uh, thingy in here. I'm this Batman. is cool. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a natural science uh, museum. Just, like, what it is. Sonic stuff? There you go. Sonic boom! Sonic boom! Something like that. Mm. So... Oh, these eggs aren't real. I knew that, guys! Of course! I knew I'm that. I'm still having a lot of fun with this game. Oh, this game's great. I, this is one of my favorite. Some assembly may be required. This is one of my favorite games we've done in a while. Uh... <sighs> hey! Those guys made the flashy sneakers! That's how he runs so fast! Change of plans, gang! Let's see what's hiding inside box number two. All right, so we have to recruit all these guys again. No, we don't. And open says me. What? That's kind of weird. It's a mammoth. Yeah, but 
And oh, it came out like of a... the ice. Okay, that's one way to get the gold brick. And then it died. It gave its life for the gold brick. That's kind of weird. All right, Miss Lane, Lois, and Martian Manhunter need to be in this because I don't know. It's Metropolis in this one, so let's go with. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're welcome. So yeah, uh, just a reminder, guys and gals, that we will be playing the new. Now I just gotta figure out what it is. Be playing the new Pikachu game that comes out on the 16th of November. Yeah. But uh, mostly we have a lot of live streams where I will be showing you guys a bunch of indie titles. We have a lot of really interesting, I would say, games lined up to show you, such as Grid and uh, Forgotten Anne and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So just keep checking back and uh, you'll see some pretty interesting things. And of course, December, we're doing Smash Brothers. The Spider-Man DLC is September or er, November 20th. Which is the continuation of the Black Cat DLC. And what's that? The Daily Planet? We've already Martin been in there. Our Martian Manhunter looks so weird in his big form. He does. Whoa, we just teleported to Star Labs. That was crazy. Okay. All right, so I guess we're well, doing Star Labs. Yeah, I guess we're going to... Well, yeah, I guess we can go to Star Labs. I mean, you can come in at any time if oh, you want. Oh, yeah, I can come in. I am John Jones. Hi, John. Hello. I can go in without you. What? No, why did you leave me outside? I'm trying to be John Jones, but it's kind of weird. Ah. You can't be John. There so we go. So do not try, because it is weird. Oh, man. We'll probably never have as good of a voice as him, though. Wait, does he still... Is that guy still around, or...? Yeah, of course he is. He was Walk just in the Supergirl there. thing. You don't want me spilling my white oh, yeah. paint on your white lab coat, now. It'll stain. Interesting. So we're literally inside of the Star Labs level, except it's a little bit different. So we have to find... These items inside of Star Labs. I like his move, how he does his moves. I know, John is a cool character. Like, he, he morphs a lot when he's uh, punching. Yeah, that's to be expected. Break all this stuff! Because that's what award winning journalists do. <laughs> oh, good times. Mm, yeah. Oh. Mm. oh, yeah. You're having problems with that table there? I'm having a problem with the table, yeah. It seems to be. The table's kind of invincible for Martians. Wait, what are we inside right now? Oh, oh we're in you can use your telekinesis powers over here. Back, back where I am. Over here. You're way up there. I'm back toward the back of the wall. Oh, okay. Do, 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 then I just went up these stairs that way. Do, 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 do. See? Telekinesis oh. powers. Hello. Because we haven't really seen John do his telekinesis oh, stuff. Hey, is this part of some experiment? I better be getting paid extra for this. <gasps> Wait, what? What? I have laser vision? Yeah, you have You're laser vision. Now, I didn't know you? that. Can I at least get my ladder back? Wait, I have a question. If John is free to fire, why can't he just phase through the fire with his phasiness? Oh, because he's afraid of it. Wait a second. Did I just throw a pen? I think I did. I gotta see this. Looks like a pen. She throws a pen! Oh, that's hilarious. That's kind of funny. The pen truly is mightier than the sword. Hmm. Okay, I can't break yeah, that. Definitely. All right, so we accomplished one thing so far here in Star Labs, which was stealing that poor guy's ladder. I, I just had a dark thought about how pens could be more mighty than this sword, but it doesn't. Never mind. Oh, Sean, well, you can turn invisible. Well, I was just thinking that if you, oh yeah, I'm invisible. If you were an assassin and you wanted. To Oh, never mind. Oh, what am I doing? Doing that, so over, oh, okay. over, over, up. up. 
Okay, so over, over, up. There you go. Yay! No, I'm just saying if you were an assassin, you want to get a pen pest. It would be easier to get a pen pest security than a sword. But right. That'd be kind of weird. Okay, so only but one more item in here to get the gold brick. Wouldn't be as effective as walking, though. Since it mainly you could just write on people. That is mostly true. Yep. Boom. Do -be -do 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 -do. Lois doesn't really sound like Lois. Mm. Oh, does she sound, do you think she sounds like Lois in the cutscenes or no? Yeah, she does. Oh. Well, I mean, I still wish they would have gotten back uh, the lady who played Lois and the Phantasm because just, she was a great actress. I have to say that I've... N never mind. I've never liked any uh, animated incarnation of Lois ever. Even when her voice was done by the Andrea Beaumont? She was really... She's like my favorite Lois Lane voice. I don't know. I just feel like they've never done her right in animation, ever. I disagree. I don't know. I just feel like the only Lois that I liked was Lois and Clark, even though I, I love to hate her. Like, she had personality, and then I don't really... No, I don't really want... I don't really understand Lois's character. It's just like, ah, I'm a journalist. That's all there is to it. And I love Superman. There's two things and it's over. It's just... Like, does, does she like... Okay. You can continue. Oh, does she like to go fishing? Does she like knitting? Does she have a group of, like, friends she hangs out with and she solves crime on the side? I mean, like... Or does she, like, what does she do, like, once they get, like, what does she actually like to do, like, you know, like, I mean, does this Lois, was she in love with Lex Luthor? I mean, I'm no, 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 no. like, what is going on with Lois Lane, like, she doesn't, she just was sitting there being a journalist, then Clark came by and was like, ah, Superman, I guess I'll marry him, that's the end of the story, it's just, I don't know, it's just, she just does nothing but has a journalist job. Realize how much money and time it cost to create one of these? You could have killed me! But my, oh my, what do we have here? You brought this back with you? Impressive! Right! I just feel like her being really sweet and nice and cute would be cool, but then she's all like distant and like angsty and like, oh, I'm a journalist. Like, kind of like that. And it's just kind of like, she acts like Raven. <laughs> Even though her dad isn't Trigon, so it's just weird for me. I just don't like. I guess I just don't. I don't like any of Lois's characters that I've seen ever. Even in animation. Lois and oh, you like Lois and Clark? I like though. Lois and Clark because she had a personality there. Hmm. Even though I didn't really like her personality, sometimes well, at I'll least she had a personality. Transmute gold, real gold. I'll just take this and have it sent off right away. Wait, that's our gold brick. Hey, hey. That's our brick. What are you doing? Thief! Now that's safely put away. I shall inspect this once our unwanted guests have left. What? All you, right. you don't get to take our brick. Well, okay, Mary Jane and Peter Parker, for instance. Like, there's lots of stories about different ways that he saved her and stuff like that. It just feels like... Oh, Amber, use your mind powers. Oh. Circle. Feels like Lois just becomes like too. Oh. Okay, move okay? her over to that You're switch. You're looking a little dizzy. Maybe you should go take a break outside for a moment. What do you think you're doing? Oh, what happened? You imbecile! Do you realize what you've done? I don't know what happened. I, I uh, I just. Quiet! I'll make sure you don't set foot in any recognized establishment again. <gasps> Wow, she's kind of mean. That's really evil. But we got our gold brick, so let's get out of here. Let's try Lexcore you know next. Maybe I'll have to watch more of the Superman animated series and see if I like that, because I haven't really watched a lot of that. So, the I Superman animated series was okay, but I really liked Lois in the uh, world's finest uh, Batman-Superman movie crossover. Oh, okay. She was really good in that. 
And uh, I liked... Her. She didn't have a big role in the Justice League cartoon show. She showed up, like, three times. Yeah, but it's just like, there's never been a real... They don't really make a lot of animated stuff about the Superman universe. Like, everything is about Batman and Superman is on the side. And it's just like... I don't know. It's just like, I would want to see the way that Mary Jane and Peter Parker are where they have lots of stories together. I don't, I don't know of any stories between those and Superman. Okay, a really good... Iconic that I'm going to tell you. Right, just fine. Shh. So there's a really good... Once Lois and Superman get married, uh, there is a time-traveling adventure where they have their son, which goes into the Convergence thing. Actually, John is born during Convergence, yeah. and then they have like this time-traveling escapade where Lois and Clark are trying to hide their identities uh, from the rest of the world, especially after they end up in the world of uh, the New 52. Yeah. And it's really good. Like, the relationship between Lois and Clark is fantastic <laughs> writing. It was done by Dan Jargon, I should who is the this. famous Superman writer from the 90s who did the Death of Superman comics and other things. And that's the pre, like, that's the pre, uh, 52? Pre-52 Superman came back at the end of the new 52 and he's been Superman through Superman Rebirth. I would recommend the Dar Dan Jargon stories, but don't read the Bendis ones, because Bendis is terrible. Mm, I just feel like... I don't know if this Lois in this Lego game this symbolizes exactly new 52 Lois. Someone else will need to try. You're still in Star Labs? Wow. What? I left some time ago. Oh, See, this is what... we were still looking for something. Nope. This is why you should just do this channel on your own. I feel like okay. Time. Kill the clock, oh, great. It took me days to get inside without tripping the security system. You've undone weeks of planning in just 10 seconds. <laughs> you want this loot? You'd better get me out. Oh, I'll think about like it. Company. Hey, don't look at me. You clean up your own mess. What company? Ooh, robots. Stay right there, guards. you petty beast. Let's bot defense drones activate. I've been waiting so long to say that. Petty? I take offense to that. Defend my honor, person whom I've only just met. Oh no, that was supposed to happen. Visit? The boss is gonna be so mad. So, what are you waiting for? Find a way to shut down the security. I really don't want to go back to Bell Rev, and you really want this loot. It's a no-brainer. We'll see. Oh, look at these cool mirrors. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Just sneak and visit Smallville. Who would ever visit Smallville if they lived in the city? Some people. I wouldn't. All right, so once you go to city, you can never go back. All right, let's see what Lois Lane does in combat. Where is Lois? Should all be in alphabetical order. So this Lois from this um this um Lego Lego this game is Lego DC Super Lego Villains. DC Super We've Villains. We've only been playing it for over a month. All right, this Lois from this game is New Fifty Two Lois, right? It could be, uh... She's just very, like... I don't know, she just feels like she's just so serious and she's putting up so many walls, like... Oh, uh, I guess that kind of shows Lois's personality in reality. Never mind, that is kind of accurate to Lois's personality. Before she met Clark. They're not really together yet, though, in this... I don't know. Game. Pencil, go! Oh. Oh. What is oh. this up here? Don't go there, that's apocalypse. Oh. The green arrow is ready to take aim. And taking aim I am. There we go. Now this will work. I like the green streaks behind him, John. That's pretty cool. Well he is Martian, so I mean you know, there's that. And It'll do it. Nuts! Won't do it yet, because there's still more. Uh I don't know. Yeah, so... I guess this Lois is okay. I just... Okay, now this will work. If she put up this front, like, when she was around people at work, like, so she could try to be an ace reporter, but in reality she had a sensitive side where she was goofy and stuff, then I would like her personality, but the fact that she has no personality in any version, whether at home or at work, is just weird for me. 
you just basically uh, explained when Lois is married to Clark. What do you mean? Well, that's she is fun and goofing and all that stuff when she has a kid. Hey, you so she becomes more goofy when she gets married. Mm-hmm. Like that ever happens to people? Oh, I would say so. What are you talking about? Wait, you're talking so... about other characters? What? Oh yeah, you did it. We're as thick as thieves right now. I'll be honest, I thought you might just leave me in there. Here, since you let me out, take this. Now, I'm getting out of here. And if I was you, I'd do the same. Later, partner! He, he left without the money? Oh, yep. That's weird. Are you talking about people in real life, Luke? What are you talking about? Well, you were goofy all the time, so that wouldn't work for you. I was stoic. Are you he's, saying you got more goofy after you got married? Yeah, he's not gonna say anything, so I guess... I know, you were talking about me, weren't you? Drop the bricks and get on the ground! Back. You're going away for a length of time deemed acceptable by the presiding judge of this particular district within Metropolis! That's how I feel uh, Lois exactly is, stoic. I want to She's... interview right now. Okay, so... I'm, I'm done talking about it, I guess. Why is there three hearts there? I yeah, like you, the music right now, though. It's a uh, kind of like a, a fight for our lives or something. What? I can't go out that way. Where am I? Am I? I'm inside of a bank or something. All right, I should probably drop out and then drop back in again. Yep, that's what you should do. Where exactly am I? Um. Oh, that was a bank! Well then, well, that makes sense, I suppose. But why is Lois the only one there late at night when every, all the, everybody else has gone home? She believes in hard work. She likes working hard. Mm-hmm. So, when she marries Clark, and he could basically go to the top of a mountain and basically dig up a bunch of gold and bring it to her and they could just live... Yeah, why doesn't Clark do that? Mm. And then he could just take gold, just mine it with his superpowers, and grab the gold, sell it, and they could be set for life. She wouldn't have to work a day in her life anymore. Yeah. Like, he should just do that. Should just do that. No, yeah, that's what I would make my husband do if he had superpowers. So you would exploit his abilities! I'm just using it to the best of my ability. Just. It makes sense, like, she marries a superhero, she shows him the ropes of being human, and in return, he gives her all the gold in the world for a lifetime supply of happiness and riches. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a very good plan. I don't know, I think it's awesome. No! I don't, I don't agree to that. If you gain superpowers, Luke, I would exploit it. Yeah, I gathered that. I've already explained my mission right now. Why doesn't he just... Why can't he just, like, do that for his wifey so she doesn't have to be a journalist anymore? She wants to be a journalist. Why? She likes learning about things? She well, likes she, to write. Why does she like to write? I can't understand. Maybe I can't understand her character because I don't really like writing. That could be it. You like writing, though. You write scripts and stuff all the time. I haven't written a piece in a while, though. Okay, so there is a red brick here. So can you understand Lois's character, then, that she likes writing? Yeah, she always likes to go for the story. Nothing wrong with that. But she could just do it on the side for fun, and then she could live in her mansion that super. I'm fun. surprised they haven't redone her as a- Oh, now I get what this is! There's no red brick in here. This is a, a red brick, um... It's where all the red bricks we've collected are. That makes sense. I was like, oh, okay. Alright, so... Anyway, people, that is gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Yay. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. We did a bunch of gold brick stuff today. We finally found Lois Lane. Mm -hmm. And all that good stuff. She looks very cute in her little sweater. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We will see you with more LEGO DC supervillains next time. And enjoy the double Harry Potter episodes later today. Bye-bye.